What up, players? McFish here. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. And today I'm going to drop a guide on Heiachi's wall game. Before we start with the guide, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. So, everybody talks about how good his Heiachi's wall pressure is, but I see no one explaining on how to implement it into your gameplay as a Heiachi player. So, I said that the deed must be done, and I'm spinning the beans today. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So as I said, he actually has one of the best wall pressure in the game, period. He has great wall damage, great wall splats uh, options, great re-splats options, and great pressure overall. So the first thing we're going to talk about is his wall combo. So electric or any launcher we're going to do, L sweep while standing 4-4 four, four, to 1 plus 2. While standing 4-4 four, four, to 1 plus 2. And you don't hold the hell sweep. It does, it's not a 2 hell sweep, it's hell sweep, 1, and 1 plus 2. So, in the off it look like that. Also do a combo from far away so you can see it. Dun, 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 dun. That's the combo. 92 damage. So after you get here, what are you gonna do? Let's talk about why he has such great wall pressure. So as I said, let's get to the wall. So first thing first, it has a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, moves that make him wall splat again so down for one two this is his most down for one is one of his best pokes only minus one he also have an extinction to mid high and he also has the mid mid if it's minus 13 but it's a initial combo if the down forward one will hit so this is his first down, down, down. 64 damage from one poke electrics right so we'll give him the one Give him the wall splat, 54 damage. He also has forward 3. He has back forward, it's a homing. Ah, 50 damage. And he has 1 1 2. We're gonna talk about 1 1 2 later, but he also has this string that he's picking amazing on the wall. So, as I said, go for 1 2. I'll sweep. This is 64 damage. And think you're doing a combo, and then you get to the wall and you get this, you, you have him on rage. You already have him on range from freaking one poke that you just killed him because he, he ducked. Let's talk about his greatest moves and uh, one of his great moves also in neutral, but why it makes him so good at the wall. The first move we're gonna talk about is forward four. Most of you guys know this move. It's that. This move. Plus four on block, on hit is like minus seven. And the funny thing is that uh, something that Kazuya doesn't have only in devil form but in Iachi when enemy crouches, you get 13 frame mid to get into it. So, you get 54 damage. Even in neutral it works. It's not, it, you don't need the wall for it. I'll show you guys. You don't need the wall for it. This gives you 54 damage just for because he ducked. Okay, and you can see it. You can see the animation, like he is ducking. Taking his uh, head a little down. And you get this. The first thing you should do, at the wall, is forward 4. It's also plus, also it's a, an amazing move, I-19, start up, and on the wall. 84 damage because they ducked, and this, and the bot is on guard all, so it can't guard after that. Thumb, 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 thumb. 84 damage. This is fucking insane, insane, because one person chose to duck at the start of the round, it gets fucked. 84 damage. Abuse it. Abuse it. Abuse this move. It is so good. Just abuse it as much as you can. Also, like, just throwing mids. You don't have to throw forward 4 because you get... People will get used to it if you just spam it every time. So you can also do other mids that we talked about before. But use forward 4. It's fucking amazing. And it gives you tons and tons of damage. Okay, so we talked about uh, wall split moves, we talked about forward 4. Let's talk about 1 1 2. He actually has one of the worst range 1 1 2 from the Mishimas. And you see, he takes his hand, he's like hitting like that. He doesn't even straighten his head, uh, his hand. You can see. So he has really bad, uh, really bad range. See, it doesn't hit always. But the good thing about it, it's wall splats. So, 
it's a great pressure tool. Like, if you want to bait them to touch buttons, you can just jab to jab to jab, side step, jab, 1-1-2. One, one, or even jab to jab, jab uh, to 1-1-2. One, one, jab, 1-1-2. One, one, because if you think they're gonna touch... You see? Even if he tries to jab, you're plus one. So, you have the advantage if he's trying to jab. And you can just bait it. Go for the jab. Go for the jab. Then just move. And you get the wall combo. As you see here, 50 damage from just moving. So this is a good bait. Good bait tool. So give you a reward stat. We'll talk about it when we get there. So use one one two if you feel that uh, they love to touch or they are already used to forward four and used to down forward one. It's really worth it. So if the player you play against, he knows the the system. The system is don't never crouch against the Yachi, especially on the wall. So it doesn't crouch. It stay it stay. He it stays grounded. It doesn't do anything. And you're stuck like that. And you do mids, you do highs, you do mids, and it just locks it. You have one more option to get the wall stack. 4, four 1 plus 2. These things gives you a wall stack. If you know that uh, the character, the, uh, the player you play against, doesn't break throws as much, tough. 44 damage from a grab. So it's really good, and again, he's in the corner. So he's stuck. So in the end, if you know that he doesn't, he just stays, stays standing up, grab. And if he knows how to break the grab, and he always, or he ha is one of those guys that only spend one plus two, and I think this is the only grab. You have something to confuse guys also, like really high level guys. Wait, have this down for it two plus three. It looks almost the same, but it doesn't have the big animation. It doesn't wall splat, but it gives you plus seven. Plus seven. And then you can do the down forward one, two, or again, and you have plus frames. So even if you try to do something, you just have him. And you can continue with the grabs. And do whatever. Go to this. And you have also this, but I don't recommend it as much. You also have the broken toy. It is a QCF. Okay, so. For the one, one uh, for this one, for the wall stat, it's forward four, one plus two. For the two break, this is down forward two plus three. Also, suggest to use it because people won't expect it. People won't expect it as much. Use them both wisely. I suggest that if he's a mediocre player or someone that doesn't know how to break throws, go for the one plus two always. But sometimes it's great to change. And of course, like if you do. Tons of grabs on him, you try to crouch. So then, so if I crouch, I can just do this. Sometimes they will just expect it too much. Like, see? And they will punish you. So last thing to do, or just check him with them for one one. So that's also a good uh, way. Are there some cheesy strat? Best thing you can do, you can do a hell sweep. And you get 48 damage from that. I'm pretty sure you can do this. Yeah. 56. If you want to do the easy easy version. 48. From the health. So this is also a good way to get more damage if you if you know that you won't uh, duck. And he doesn't know how to duck the second health suite. So let's talk about how do you get the damage. So the the thing that I showed you most of the time, they will crouch, we get the, we get the, the combo, 64, but what if I can say that you can get more damage? So that's where the real wall spells come in. So what is a real wall spell for people that don't know? It's a way to make you splat after you splat. So as you see, I got more damage. And I got him from one side of the wall to the other. This is 72 damage. 72. This is 64. This is eight, 8 points of damage. 
8 points of damage and it's a little hard on, uh, at first because you need to do it you need to do a little side step to get the other way of the wall but you get way more damage this will work most of the times it's a little different between curved walls and straight walls but you can get them on both maps just be careful because you need to learn how much you need to sidestep when you're doing it. So what I do most of the time, number one, two, sidestep to back four. This is the easiest that I've learned. And do the wall combo. That's three four. That's three points standing four, one plus two. Um so think about that. You're doing forward four. Thumb, 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 thumb. 90 freaking two damage. That's half of his health. That's freaking more than half of his health. And just got it for one move. Because it is forward four. So this is why forward four is such a good move. Especially on the wall. And you can get this. This is also a, this is also way, way better. But uh, it's way harder. And it won't always work. But this is 98 damage. And that's for the Wii wall spot. That's how to get more damage. And now... I'm gonna show you because you know that I love setups. I'm gonna show you a good setup. Yep. You can get more damage than you think. <laughs> so if you want to risk it a little bit and you want to go for setups that most people won't know, or even if they know, you, you get tons of damage off. You do the same. It's a little hard. So you do the same as before. But you need to get more sidestep. You need not to hit the wall, you need to hit the ground. Of course, it won't work now. And you get this guaranteed. If you, if you try to wake up, you get it guaranteed. If it just stays on the ground, you get 4 4 2. So, let's say it stays on the ground. Wait. This is 92 damage, just the same as the wall spot, but. You get, you can get, uh, but it's a good Oki also, also, and because it's a setup, you need to, you need to know that if he tries to stand up, like most of uh, Aachi setups, wait, you get a combo or another wall splat, and that's 64 damage. Let's do the maps. So this is like some, like between 130 damage to 140 damage from a freaking single setup. So think that if you can get this, if you can get the wall, the re wall splat, and if they try to wake up and just stand up, you won. You won the round. You took the round. 75, 264. This is. 139 damage and most mostly you did a combo before so this is freaking overkill this is overkill you just got to the wall you killed them with more damage than you ever need <laughs> and that's it so guys let's talk about what we learned today we learned of we, first we learned of the the basic wall combo for uh, one plus two standard stuff if you want the, the best oki version the combo is S three time health wave to one four. It gives you plus eight, gives you more uh, time to detect. So if they, if they try to wake up and do some kicks or something, you will win. Most of the time, you will win. So we talked about down forward four, or down forward one two. We talked about forward three, back four. Great moves for not, for the wall that. And we talk about forward four that gives you a guaranteed minus thirteen move. Well, give you, you see, it's plus thirteen. It gives you a mid that is plus 13, that's your down forward 1 2. Also, just for notes, down forward 1 1 will also work, but you. But the most of the damage comes from down forward 1 2. 84 freaking damage. And for the way wall split, 92. Um, this is forward 4. Also, don't forget about what I said about 1 plus 1 1 2. Also, 
also a lot of damage and about it if they just stay standing you can go for the health sweep you can go for lows you can do anything you want spam electrics just take the spam electrics to the to the combo and if nothing works grab work So this gives you 50 something damage from one combo and from regular wall splat, 44. So as I said, we talked about the real wall splats. Like, take your time, don't think that you're gonna get, make it in one day, it's okay. Work on it, improve on it, get the timing right, it's a little bit hard, I'll show you it again. Side step, back four, it's also hard for me sometimes, as I said. Back four to the, to the wall combo, 75 damage. This is freaking crazy. So this is why, guys, he actually has one of the best wall pressure in the freaking game. He's just a freaking machine, freaking machine. Uh, and this is only the start. You can do all sorts of techs. There's a lot of things you can learn. There's a lot of crazy shit that you can learn on his wall pressure. This is the basics and some and it's some advanced techniques, but. This is mostly the basics. There's a lot to explore here and I hope that I really helped you here and uh, get you more into Heiachi and why his wall pressure is so great and how he can eliminate people like that in wall, uh, in, wall uh, in maps that has walls. So players, I hope you enjoyed this guide. I hope you understand now how Heiachi's wall combo is starting to work and share this guide with all your Mishima mains that says that Heiachi doesn't have good damage. Like that shit. No. All, all these gamer grills all, they just want my money. Yeah! Ah, 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 ah. I hope to see you in the next guide and I'll see you later.